Are you guys looking to get more out of your Ecobee? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I just picked up the Ecobee not long ago and posted a video last week of a review on it. Uh, one thing to specify on that review, if you did watch it, I had mentioned that one thing I didn't like was that it was kind of hard to adjust the temperatures. Thank you for you guys for commenting on that one, letting me know that I left the plastic cover on the front. I looked at the cover, I didn't see any plastic. I actually had to take my nail and peel it away and actually saw there was plastic on there. So if you guys are running into the same problem, take a look, maybe there's plastic on there. So I'm embarrassed by that. Thank you guys for letting me know. But now that I've had this device for a while, I've been looking into other ways of utilizing it other than just changing my temperature and using the schedule. So I've scoured the internet, compiled a list of some things that might be helpful to you guys. But before we get started, take a minute to hit that subscribe and notification bells for more videos like this one. Also for everything that I talk about in this video, I will have Amazon affiliate links in the description below if you want to check any of them out. All right, with that said, let's get started. So number one I have on the list is a fairly easy one and some that may be obvious to some people, but I did get some questions in my review video, so I figured I would address it as my first one. And that question was, can you use a voice assistant outside of the Amazon that is built into this to control the device, and that is yes. So you can use Amazon, Google, HomeKit to all control this system. So whether you're asking it to set a specific temperature or turn the heat up and down, you can do that from any item. And another phrase that you can use that I thought was kind of funny is by saying, Alexa, it's cold in here and it'll actually turn the heat up by two degrees. For the settings that I have set for, it'll hold that for two hours, but uh, depending on what your settings are, it'll depend on how long it holds that new temperature for. So one thing I found interesting with the Ecobee is that you can set up geofencing with an Android phone, but you can't seem to do that with an iOS phone. Now, if you connect it through HomeKit on the device, it'll use the geofencing on HomeKit to set that up, but I didn't find a way that you could do that. Which brings me to number two on the list. Number two on the list is using IFTTT, which is a free software that allows different platforms to communicate with each other. When you have devices talking to each other, you can create or use what's called applets to create routines using the software. The one that I found is that for, this is gonna be for iOS devices only or Apple devices only, but it turns on locations within the IFTT app. So you're gonna have to load that app onto your phone and set a geofencing parameter. But once you leave that location, this specific app right here is going to change your home comfort setting to away. So if you're operating outside of your normal schedule and you leave the house, it is gonna set your thermostat to away mode so you're not wasting energy. Another applet that I found pretty handy on IFTTT also relates to the location finder. If you are coming home prior to whenever your schedule is, it'll use the geofencing location to set your home comfort level before you get home. Let's say you break routine during the week and you take a half day at work and you come home early. Now, normally your thermostat is set to away. For my example, I've got my thermostat upstairs, so I'm not gonna be going upstairs, walking in front of that thermostat, triggering the motion sensor, letting it know that I'm home and to kick it into home mode. So for me, it's gonna stay in the away mode for majority of the day, unless I manually change that. What this applet is gonna do is that it's going to detect that you're getting close to home and it's automatically going to switch your thermostat out of away mode to home mode. This way, when you arrive home, your home is at a comfortable level. Now, unfortunately with IFTTT, this only works with one device. So what happens when I leave the house but my wife is still home for the day. Well, that's where SmartThings comes in. SmartThings is a small hub that controls automation in your house. So I have SmartThings set up to where both my wife and I have the app installed on our phones and that has geofencing built in. So it can either tell if we're present in the house or if we have left the house. For this example here, if we want the thermostat to not be in away mode until we both leave the house, through smart things, it'll detect that when we have both left the house or everybody in the family who has a presence device has left the house, then it'll kick it onto away mode. 
once one of us comes back into having a present state in the house, it'll go back to being in home mode. Now, the next cool thing that you can do with SmartThings is that you can take a contact sensor, and when that sensor breaks, you can tell SmartThings to do certain things with it. For this example, I can set up contact sensors on certain windows of my house or all windows of my house, and tell smart things that if a contact sensor is broken, meaning that a window is open, to turn off the air conditioner. This is gonna be ideal in summer for saving electricity. If the kids upstairs open their windows or if we accidentally open up a window because we notice it's nice outside forgetting that the air is on, opening that window and breaking that contact sensor is gonna tell smart things, turn off the air. So it's just gonna switch that thermostat off. Now the Ecobee smart thermostat that I bought comes with a smart sensor. That smart sensor not only detects the temperature in that room, but it has a built-in motion sensor too. Another way that you can use the motion sensor other than just detecting motion in that room and controlling the thermostat is that you can use that motion to trigger other things in your house using smart things. The example that I'm gonna use this one for is if you have one of these sensors in the room and say it doesn't detect motion in 10 minutes, turn off the lights in that room. This is a good way for you to save electricity for family members that forget to turn off the lights. So what do you guys think of my list of ideas? Were any of those helpful for you? If so, let me know which ones you're gonna start using. If there are other ones that I did not mention, put them in the description below. I'd love to know the ways that you guys are using these sensors and this thermostat. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.